Hi everybody, this is Aaron with TheRuggedStore.com. I got the rugged roll case for the PJ7 Brother thermal printer in front of you. We've done a video about this before, but I wanted to roll through it with some better camera angles, show you what it's about, and kind of give you a better some uh, angles. I already hit print on this just to show you how it prints with my phone. I just got it connected through Bluetooth, and it's printing out our pretty high def logo, so it takes some time with the PJ7. And so I'm gonna show it to you printing, and this is, an interesting note, non-perforated paper. So it still tears off, but the paper could come in perforated and non-perforated versions. We definitely suggest the perforated paper because you can see that it's not a really clean tear if you don't use a uh, tear strip. So I'm gonna set that aside, but you saw how that printed right out of the rugged roll case. And it's a really pretty sturdily built case. You have the fan fold case, the soft canvas one, and this rugged roll one. So obviously by the name, it's holding roll paper inside it. It has the PJ7 uh, printer inside it as well. And we can access the ports on the PJ7 right through this little port cover. And it's pretty tight in there because this printer case does offer a layer of protection against ingress such as dust and water. But right there you can see that it has access to our DC ports and our USB ports on the PJ7. So if I wanted to plug in a DC power without having to open the case, I would just have to remove that um, little block right there and that's on a tether and I could run the cord right into there without having to open up the case. Now, closing that up, moving to the front of the printer case, there is a kind of a misunderstood piece of this case that's called, it's the um, little closure strip that you can press this button and it pops in closed. That is not a tear bar. That is just to help protect the printer if when it's not in use. Um, from like dust or water ingress. It's just another layer of protection that this case offers. But a lot of people see that, they think it's a tear bar, they think that they have to, you know, close it every single time that they're about to tear and then it messes up their tear and then inevitably they're gonna forget to open that little screen and they're gonna jam up their printer as their printer tries to shoot out paper out of the front slot. When I'm using my PJ7 in the rugged roll case, I honestly just don't mess with this at all just because I have forgotten to open it too many times to count and it just gets in my way. But it's there if you need it. Um, to open up the case, oh, I'm sorry, moving to the bottom of the case, we do have some mounting patterns. You got a two by two right here, some mounting screw holes right there for the feet, or you can change that out if you have small enough bolts. There's just some mounting options for the roll, good roll case on the bottom. Opening it up, you just unlatch it. And on the top, you do have access to rubber, pretty much uh, replication of the buttons that are on the actual printer. So opening that up, you see that they're in line with the actual buttons on the PJ7. Um, the roll paper is tucked inside. There's a tension bar, you know, whenever you're loading new paper. Just make sure that spool is going into the inner core of the roll paper just so that it's nice and flat, holds it in its right position so it doesn't slide side to side if you're in a vehicle and it would jam up. But pretty simple stuff, it does have a uh, straightening bar on the inside that pinches the paper as it goes through so it kind of cuts back on the roll, um, uh, the curl of the paper. So it's an anti-curl bar. In use, in actual use, your paper is still gonna come out with a little bit of curl. You can't really avoid that just because it's sitting on a roll, but that's just my honest feedback. It's sitting on a roll, you print it out, even with the anti-curl or non-roll bar, you're still gonna see a little bit of curl. So if you need absolute flat pieces of paper, I would say go with the fan fold paper, the fan fold case, and go with that. But if you're okay with a little bit of curl, you're gonna get that with the rugged roll case, but obviously um, just different formats of paper. And we'll go into that in another video. So that's the rugged roll case for the PJ7. We're gonna go into the third case, the canvas-sided, soft-sided uh, roll case for the PJ7 in the next video. But if you have any questions about the rugged roll case, PJ7s, wanna purchase some, we are at theruggedstore.com. Looking forward to talking to you there. Also, it would really help if you like, share, and subscribe right below it, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.